So it's back to this now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pee every 20 minutes and do a cup. Because I'm gonna keep track of how much I'm peeing because my kidneys suck. Yay. Mm. All I wanna do is just sleep and then won't let me sleep. It's really irritating. I've been woken up like three times for them to draw blood and twice to do vitals and then once to just ask me if I peed in the middle of the night or not. It's very, very annoying. I wanted to give everybody a good look at this too. These are my morning medications that I have to take. There we go. There's a lot. I have to eat an entire goddamn pharmacy in the morning now. So I don't really have much in the way of updates so far. I'm actually awake now. Um, it's about close to about 20 till 10 at this point. Um, they keep asking me if I peed. And like I got woken up in the middle of the night to ask if I peed. Because apparently I'm not peeing as much as I should be based on how much fluids is being pumped into me, they say that my output isn't matching my input, which correlates with their original theory of my kidneys being stupid right now. Uh, chemo is supposed to start today, I assume, and I don't know what that's going to be like, but I can pretty much tell you it is going to suck. My back hurts because I get back soreness in the morning. My where they gave me the bone marrow biopsy is still really sore. My arm here, where they put my pick line in, that's really sore. And it's really hard to sleep. Otherwise, without being woken up 30 times to get your blood drawn and uh, to get your vitals done three times in the middle of the night. So I'm starting to get really grouchy. And I'm trying really hard not to, but... I'm about to lose my goddamn shit. I need to get up and like walk around soon or something before they start chemo. Get the fuck out of this room for a little bit, I think. I don't know. But this is day three of potentially 30 or longer, and I already want to blow my fucking brains out. Um, I just had um, the morning gang of doctors come in and talk to me about everything. It sounds, I really hate the feeling that this is a lot more severe than what I originally anticipated and how I've kind of just brushed everything off up to this point so far. It's kind of worrisome a little bit. Um, basically what they, so the radiology uh, check or whatever you want to call it, when they came and checked my heart yesterday, I uh, said so my heart function is falling slightly below normal. So that's fun. So because of that, they have to change me to a different type of chemotherapy that they're going to put me on because chemotherapy basically might, they say if they were to go on with the original chemotherapy that they were going to put me on, my heart isn't going to be able to handle that. Um, they're still concerned with my kidneys, the way that those have been functioning, how that's going to go. Um, they basically just kind of gave me a rundown on everything. So the plan going forward right now is I get basically just butt effed with chemotherapy for about a week. In two weeks, I'm going to have to go through my fifth bone marrow biopsy. Uh, one is too many, but I'm going to have to do that in two weeks because they're going to check to see whether or not the, not if the leukemia is in remission, but if it is making a difference, if it looks like I'm going to be heading toward remission on that. Um, if I am, then um, basically they're going to keep me here for a little bit longer, keep doing checks on me. Once I re I'm released from the hospital, and from what he said, three to four weeks, um, then I'm going to have to go through a sixth bone marrow biopsy to check to see. That's going to be the one to check to see if I am in remission or not. Um, and they said that on this next one in two weeks that I have to do, if the biopsy shows that there's still a lot of present leukemia cells in the body that would have to go through one of two decisions, basically to either stop giving me chemotherapy if my body can't handle it 
or if it's done too much damage. Um, basically, I'm, I'm going to have to either consider a different route or they're going to need me more chemotherapy if they think that my body can take it. So uh, I really don't like that everything is starting to sound more severe than what I originally thought that it was. And it's kind of worrying me just a tiny little bit at this point. So we'll go from there. Uh, chemotherapy is definitely going to start today. It's going to suck. And that's going to be when I'm going to start being in a really, really bad mood. Really, really tired all the time. Probably throwing up this time around because it's going to be a lot more severe um, form of chemotherapy. A lot more intense than what the last one that I took was. Also, fun fun little quick update that I forgot to mention. Um, at some point, there might be a chance that you're going to see a video of me shaving my head and shaving my beard. Because from what he said, it sounds like hair's going bye-bye. So, that is also annoying. So, still no chemo. My lip's bleeding because I keep picking at it. Um, I just had a physical therapist come in, kind of walk me around a little bit. Uh, he wants me to try to be as active as possible, um, all things considered. So um, he kind of had me do a couple laps around the outside area, outside of my room. Um, showed me, like, I guess they have, like, an exercise bike and, like, a new step thing and all that kind of stuff. So he had me do that for a little bit. Um, just encouraged me to kind of just try to go out and be as active as possible with everything. Um, it's going to be really hard to do that with chemo starting though, because everybody's telling me that this is going to be way, way worse than the last time I had it. So, I don't know, maybe I'll get some, um, I'll get some footage of me walking around later on in the next couple of days, kind of show everybody what, uh, I mean, it's a really nice area, like the hospital here, like this floor is really, really nice. There's a couple like lounge areas, which are nice. So anybody who wants to come out and hang out, we don't have to hang out my hospital room there's actually a pretty nice open area with like a bunch of comfortable seating and everything that we can hang out at too so um but yeah if any like like i said if any that's for anybody who wants to kind of come out hang out if you're watching this and you want to come hang out please keep in mind that the invitations to come hang out are for the people that i actually uh hang out with normally and associate with normally so please don't like everybody come if we don't talk um then, I mean, don't come try to visit me. I mean, you can message me on Facebook. You can do all kinds of stuff like that. But I just want to keep it close, friends and family. And, well, I don't really have any family. Close friends and my roommates and my girlfriend and my son and his mom and all that kind of stuff. That's I, I would really rather limit it to that. Um, I'm just trying to, not trying to be a dick or anything, but, you know, it's just boundaries, you know. Um, so, I'll... Uh, get some footage when chemo starts or I'll, I'll try to um i have a wash and dryer here thankfully i, I figured out where that is so that's going to be a big help uh because i only brought a week's worth of clothes and i'm going to be here for a month maybe longer so <laughs> all right so that's all i have for now so i'll um have some more stuff later it's still early it's only noon <sighs> i hate this so 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 much Right, so I was just given this. This is basically my schedule for um, chemo. The yellow is I'm going to be getting two different kinds of chemo. That's going to be infused over a four-hour period every day for five days. And then the other one in orange, that's going to be injected over a 60-minute period. So basically for four hours, for five days, I'm going to be getting just completely railed by uh, chemotherapy and also this was my consent form that I signed in order to uh, have chemotherapy done so these are a list of possible side effects and symptoms of the chemotherapy um, nausea and vomiting I'm fully expecting this time diarrhea or constipation probably Appetite changes or taste changes, uh, in my experience with doing this the last time, everything is going to taste like styrofoam, so that's definitely going to happen. Mouth sores are going to happen. Hair loss, I hope, isn't going to happen, but I touched on that a little bit earlier. 
uh, fatigue. That's absolutely going to happen. I'm probably going to be sleeping a lot. Damage to the kidney and liver. Apparently my kidneys are already fucked up. So, yep. And then we got some more stuff over here. Edema or swelling. Fever or risk of infection. Bruising or bleeding. I'm absolutely going to get fevers. The last time I got, I had chemotherapy, I was getting fevers that lasted for about a week that were incredibly intense. Uh, I felt like I had the flu. So, I got that to look forward to. Yay. All right, well, chemo is officially in progress. I ended up getting a uh, Neupogen injection in my stomach there. And uh, basically what that does is that raises my white blood cell count, which they're doing as a pre a preventative, preemptive, I guess would be the word, preemptive measure, because chemo is going to completely obliterate my immune system, as it's intended to do. Um, basically, as far as my immune system goes, this is meant to be in the process of eating, so I'm burping, sorry. Basically, what this is intended to do is to be like a complete teardown of the immune system, and then we're going to, it's going to get built back up. So, that's kind of where we're at with it right now. Um, it's all... Uh, right up there. Um, it's not really much. I don't know if anybody's familiar with, like, the process of chemotherapy or anything. It's basically all fed through, um, like, an, it's like an IV. Uh, normally they would give it to me in my, um, port there, the little bump here. Uh, but they deaccessed it. They're not going to do it through the port because I guess it's better to do it through the pick line because... When you do it, like, I guess the pick line is better for long-term use, whereas if they were to do it through the port, they did it through a port because it would be basically every three three weeks. It, like, you know, it wouldn't stay consistently in my chest for very long. This is intended to stay in my chest for a long time, whereas this isn't a good option. Uh, so that's where everything's at right now. I don't know exactly how long it's going to take before I start getting sick. Usually it would take about five days, but that was only getting it for a few hours. This is going to be getting it pumped into me pretty much constantly um, over the next five days. So I might start to feel the effects a lot sooner than later. Also, um, something kind of funny that happened. Um, so while my nurse was getting everything prepped for chemo and everything, we were just kind of chit-chatting a little bit. Um, you know, I was explaining to her, you know, how I got in this position and everything and you know, one thing leads to another, and then uh, pro wrestling comes up, and um, so, you know, I was telling her about the uh, the documentary that Viceland has, the wrestlers, and, you know, telling her about the episode involving death matches and how I used to do death matches and things like that, so it progresses and progresses and progressive, so then I ended up showing her on YouTube one of my uh, highlight videos, and now I'm pretty sure she thinks I'm a psychopath. <laughs> So that's, that was kind of a funny little takeaway from that. So I just finished first bit of chemo, first round of the first chemo, two chemos, five rounds each, all every day, just like on the schedule I showed. Um, the last time I had chemo, I didn't really start to see any like side effects or symptoms for about five days afterward. And now it's, let's see been probably about almost about a half hour after the first one and I'm starting to feel a little a little rumbly in my tumbly here so that kind of sucks I wouldn't expect to feel effects of it right away maybe it's all the random bullshit that I ate earlier uh, it, this could just be coincidental timing but I kind of feel like kind of feel like I'm gonna take a shit soon like not a comfortable one either <laughs> so yeah that's where we're at with that um, about two hours from now they're gonna give me another uh, another round of chemo this one's gonna be pumping into me for about four hours this last one was for about an hour so this next one's gonna be for four hours and we'll see I don't know we'll see how I feel when I wake up so this may be the last uh, last update of the night. I might I might do one more after this. It just depends. Um, so yeah, I guess we'll just wait and find out. 
false alarm on the nausea thing. I just farted really, really big. Probably the biggest fart of my entire life. And now I feel way better. <laughs>